Hello there, and welcome to the very first Win With Winners by TC Optimize. This is a monthly deep dive into tech for real estate with the experts. This introduction to Tashina and TC Docs is in preparation for our deep dive and Q&A on May 8th. Feel free to check the description for registration and replay details. Let's dive right in. All right, I have Tashina here, as you've already heard from the intro, and I am super excited to do this. We've been talking probably for like a year now, where we were like, we have to do something together. And it's just not happened the way that we wanted it to. But I'm so excited to have you on. And really, um, I, I, I was thinking with this series of um, monthly like interviews like this that I want to do, I was like, I have to get Tashina on because not only is TC Docs one of those tools that is is just an amazing step to really getting scaled, automated. And when I say automated, you wouldn't think TC Docs and automation, but adding merge fields to email templates is a form of automation. And just going from copy and pasting different contract data into the copy and pasted email template that is a humongous step. So I'm really, I, I pour into more advanced things. So I'm so excited to um, bring Tashina on and, and really talk about our traditional TCs. And, and this is one of those tools that works at that, at that level. Not everyone wants to manage 100 transactions per TC. Um, and you have to grow to that point. So I think TC Docs is a perfect tool for TCs really ready to get out of their spreadsheets, out of Trello, out of um, whiteboards, whatever it is you're using manually. I know people that are still using paper. Um, so this gets you out of that and a little bit into that world of you're going to see a lot of time here. So I'm super excited to dive into this. Um, to start, let's go ahead and um, learn a little bit about you. So uh, as a TC Docs in implementation specialist, could you just share a little bit about your background and how you got involved in assisting TCs with their software setup in TC Docs? Absolutely. So I have been in the real estate industry my entire adult life. So right out of high school, I went into real estate. And uh, I after build, you know building this business out, I knew I needed something. I needed software. I needed more than that paper. I needed more than my Google Sheets that I was using. And I found TC Docs. And the amazing uh, group of TCs that, you know, we have here on Facebook and on the internet taught me some pointers, but I realized with putting my own system together that I could really help other people. And people started to reaching out to me and saying, hey, could you help me set up? So I put together a process that would help people streamline getting themselves set up and going with their with their software with TC Docs. That's amazing. And uh, you you have, it, it's been, I mean, I feel like you were doing TC Docs when I got into Open to Close. How long have you been in TC Docs? I, and then when did you start helping with setup? Because I think you were already setting up. Yes, I've been doing um, setups for a while. Honestly, it happened all really quickly. I think it's been three or four years. Um, and probably less than six months after I started with the program, I really understood it and um, got a chance to speak with the owner and speak with other TCs who have been using it and see what took them a while to get set up. And so right soon after that, the pandemic happened and lots of people had time on their hands. And so they wanted to jump into setups and I was available to do that with um, different ones. So I've had Right after getting myself set up, I was able to help other TCs immediately. Yeah, that's and I I, I definitely kind of you're doing all of this while you're running your own TC business. And um, you've definitely been able to kind of master balancing 
both of them. Uh, I, I, I've i seen you around this whole entire time while you were doing all that. You're also on social media and stuff. So um, very interesting. So um, why do you think TCs find themselves going into TC docs? What is What do you hear most when you sit down for a consultation? What are their pain points? Number one is they feel like they can't grow because of the duplicating the process. And when you have a Google sheet, that's a nice place to start. Um, I, I started there or even spreadsheets and templates, but everything is are in different places. So your email templates are in Google and your um, you know checklist is in another section. And so they really needed everything in one place, which is what TC Docs does. Yeah. And that's a great point. I'm glad you brought that up because I don't even, I didn't even consider that. And that's such a big thing that people even coming into OTC from something like TC Docs or A-Frame, they're even asking for tools, things to be all in one place. Like, oh, I want to integrate with more. And I didn't think about how spread out even more so than the people that are going from TC Docs to OTC it's even more spread out when you're in paper, you, all, your document managed, everything's tracked in a different place. So that's that's huge. Being able to have your transaction management processes, you go to one place to do the majority of your work. Um, that in itself, having to log in and out of accounts and all of that different stuff, like that's a huge time saver. So I'm glad you brought up that point because I didn't I didn't think about how big the results you, you really feel that going into something like tc docs from spreadsheets more so than you would going from tc docs to otc so really cool okay what are some of the common challenges and and pain points that tcs encounter when integrating their existing systems and processes into tc docs well when they go into tc docs especially if they're coming not coming from software um is understanding where everything goes and the terminology of tc docs so um all of your contacts go in associates and then there's the transaction checklist which is where your tasks would go um the biggest thing i think people don't understand is that the task and that email are connected and so you can really streamline the process by connecting those. But a lot of times I talk to people and they've set up their system in the beginning to the best of their ability and everything's kind of everywhere and everything really should speak to each other. So there's email codes and email templates and, and the checklist. They all integrate together to work in a seamless process that also helps you to make these automated transaction timelines. And so when we're able to make everything sing and work together, that's really where the software helps you and they don't feel like they're jumping around. So that's kind of making everything connect is one of the biggest challenges that people have. Yeah, I totally, I guess that that is kind of across the board because you you go into something like OTC and you're doing the same thing. You set this up and then you set that up and then you jump back here to fix something because you for, you didn't have it here. Um, and everything is set up as a standalone. Now you've got a bunch of email templates, but when you complete the task, you have to send the email manually when you could have connected those and did both at the same time. So I, I totally see that kind of across the board and it really doesn't matter which level that 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 makes a lot of sense. Um, what would you say are some like key considerations TCs should keep in mind when transitioning over to TC docs, particularly in terms of like the data migration and training? to take the time to learn and to, I know a lot of TCs that time block, um, block out that time because you will get it back. Once your system is set up and integrated, it, it's all going to work together and it's going to save you so many hours in your day, but you do have to take that time to dedicate, to put those hours in or to connect with someone like myself, who's going to be able to streamline your process and tell you, hey, this is where you need to go. These are the things you need to do. And then that might shrink down your time, but be ready to dedicate time to get your system in place and learn it. And once you do that, then your business will take off because you're, everything's connected. And But taking that initial time and then having um, everything together where you have logos, checklists, wherever you have things create a folder, whether it's a Google Drive or a OneDrive or a Dropbox, wherever you keep everything, 
label it and create folders, subdivide them into logos and checklists and templates um, so that you're not starting into TC Docs and you're like, oh, let me go into Google and find this, or let me go into my folder on my desktop, have everything in one place. That would help a lot. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. That is kind of one of those first steps, even in my process, create a folder for all of your contract, a copy of your contract documents, a copy of your, uh, in all of your different templates, um, just so that you have it, you're not doing a search every time. So very, very good, uh, important tip there. All right. So uh, can you discuss any particular challenge or unique situations you've encountered when helping TCs integrate into TC docs and, and how you or they overcame it? Like what are, what are the biggest things and are there some simple uh, tips and tricks that might help them get over that hurdle? Um, the biggest one that I see is are the emails uh, because some people have Outlook and for TC docs, TC Docs does not integrate with Outlook currently. So uh, the best thing to do really is to get a Gmail and to get a G Suite set up. Uh, most of the people I talk to already have one set up, but once in a while that isn't set up and that can be a hurdle. Once that's set up, everything sings and works together beautifully. Um, and then also taking the time to, like I said before, having everything where it makes sense and connects. If I have a few TCs that work with different teams and they want everything to think, to look like, you know, you're sending out things as their team member. And so something that I, I suggest as well is customizing your um, email footer ahead of time, because that's something that email TCs will say, well, it's sending out just my generic one and the teams don't want that to happen. So that's something as well is to make sure those, you know, um, email signatures are customized ahead of time so that you're ready to integrate with each team that you work with if they want that customization. Yeah. And it's awesome that you can customize it. Not a lot of tools allow you to have multiple email signatures. That's super important, something a lot of people look into um, when considering them. And I also didn't know that it integrated with Google. It Did it always? I don't know if it always has since I've been using TC Docs, it has, but it uses Google Drive, it integrates with Google Drive, Google Calendar, and your Gmail. And so once, and it's a very easy integration, you literally log in and connect say, yes, this is allowed to connect with it, and then you're good to go. So uh, it's a really easy integration, and it's super helpful for myself. I keep all of my documents in Google Drive, so it makes it yeah. easy. And you can even, once you're in a custom, let's say if you're on 123 Main Street, you can connect that specific folder within your transaction so that you don't have to search for it every time you need to attach a document. Very cool. Very cool. Very, very good to hear. I know that there are other tools that offer email services, like other, you know, comparable transaction management software. Um, but it comes from a, a system email, you know, so this integrating to Gmail open to close also has a lot of limitations with the Outlook email and um, you can email from it, but I, I can see where the outlook issues are. And that I think that's just something that is Microsoft's doing. They they really do limit people. So if you are, if you if if that's one of your limited factors, like, oh, well, I, I need to be able to use Outlook, just know you might you might experience the same issue in other tools. Um, it's just a Microsoft thing. So um you know, we'll, we'll kind of wrap this up. Um, what advice would you offer to TCs who are considering implementing TC Docs um, mm -hmm. or working with a third-party vendor like yourself to streamline that process and, and make that a lot quicker? Be ready to learn. Be ready to revise. Um, and if you can learn from the person that either if you're saying, hey, okay, I'm going to work with Tashina or I'm going to work with Josie or whoever you're going to work with. Make not me. <laughs> not with you not me. Or, or any specific program, be ready to invest oh, yeah. in your business 
because if you're not ready to make that investment, um, yes, there's tons of tools out there. And they're, the nice thing about TC Docs is I'm not promoting, you know, you you can do, you can go on online and, and figure it out, but you do need to be dedicated. Uh, I see a lot of people that they end up contacting me and they say, I've been paying for TC Docs for six months and I haven't used it. And I say, why? <laughs> it's a, you know, that's an investment in your business and that's a, such a great tool, but they get intimidated and they stop. So when you really do um, get started, be ready to dedicate that time for growth because that's what it means when you take on a program um, with a program like TC Docs, the transition is not as daunting as it seems. You just have to get started. Yeah, I totally agree. And I'm, uh, this is kind of off, um, off script here, but with the investment, right? You're either investing your time, you're investing, you're investing your time to build it out yourself. You're investing money to have it built out for you. And then there's, this blended of like, you are part of it. And well, I guess it is blended all the way through there. Of course, we need your processes to build out your very personalized systems. Um, not every TC offers the same services. They don't do the same things. They don't, some order inspections, some don't. Um, so the time investment is definitely something that you need to probably count on. This is going to take you some time. The financial investment is taking away a lot of that time. So you, you've kind of got to see where you are. Um, and do you currently offer like any, uh, I know you do one-on-ones, you do setups, um, is there anything else that maybe like a blended, a more blended, if they wanted to take things more into their hands, where would they go? Are there actual resources for TC Docs where someone could really get up and moving quickly or? So TC Docs within the system actually has a how-to section and they have videos from their um, owner and also from another TC. So that is going to get you started. And there is a TC Docs Facebook group. So within those tools, you can get started. I, I found a lot of people who've gotten started that way. They usually come to me or come to someone else when it's they've done those things. And then they're like, okay, it's still not quite making sense of how, um, and that's where the one-on-one -on -one comes. And I can just say, hey, well, this works with this. This is what that means. Um, yeah. But really there are tools on their, within their website of TC Dogs that has how-to videos. So if you're ready to dive in and you say, hey, I've, I've, I've met a few brand new TCs that say, hey, I don't have the money to invest in training. I need to be able to do this myself. Then jump into those how-to videos. Um, and then I can say personally, when I got started, the customer service with TC Docs is really good. So when you call, they are ready to help and walk you through things as well. It's not going to be um, a comprehensive how-to of being a TC with TC Docs, but it will be making sense of certain questions that you might have once you're already in the system. Yeah, yeah, that makes perfect sense. Well, I think we'll wrap it up here. Um, I'm, I'm super excited because this is kind of the opening to our event next week. So um, on May 8th, we will be jumping in to TC Docs and Tashina's going to show us how to do all this. Well, um, really just a deep dive. So you know exactly what you're getting into. Um, you've got some firsthand experience, know what it looks like. You'll, you'll know what, what that is. We'll go through a day in the life and also kind of piece by piece how you can, um, optimize or, or, or make that a, a lot better of a process for you. Um, so I'll make sure to drop Tashina's information, uh, down below, uh, reach out to her. She's, she's, she has a wealth of knowledge in the real estate industry, also, uh, in, in transactions and TC docs. Um, and she's always willing to answer questions and help. So I, I really appreciate you and, and the community and you really, everyone that comes to me that says, you know, like, oh, I'm really, if they're not ready for OTC, they're going to, to Sheena. So 
Um, definitely uh, one of those people you want in your contacts on Facebook to contact when you are ready. So I'll wrap it up here. Thanks so much for doing this with me. I'm so excited. And uh, I'll see you next week. <laughs>